Does anyone else end up with a pile of clothes in like a corner of their room? And Duke ends up sleeping on those clothes and then he gets dead confused when I take them all away from him. Do you want to come back on the bed? Come here, off you go. Good morning. I'm just trying to sort out little bits around the house this morning because I, like I said, I just like end up with tiny little like pockets of mess and they end up bugging me. Although Duke loves them because he gets to sleep on my clothes. I don't know why dogs love that. Or in the laundry basket. That's like his favourite place ever. Maybe because it's dirty. But even clean laundry he'll sleep on. Maybe it's just my clothes. I wonder why. Anyway, yeah, I have a bit of a clear out to do. It is so hot this weekend. It's like 26, 27 degrees. So I'm wearing my favourite little Zimmerman dress. Um, I got this. See what I mean? Look, he's trying to sleep on my new dress. No. <laughs> I got my favourite little Zimmerman dress out. I bought this maybe a few years ago, and I rarely buy a Zimmerman dress. Not a dress is not in the sale, and I ran when I saw this one in the sale. You kind of have to act fast when Zimmerman's in the sale. Um, I bought like one dress that I really wanted not in the sale because I never thought it would go on sale. Anyway, this is the one that I got <laughs> from the sale when I acted really fast and I love it. I've kept it so pristine, which is quite hard because it's one of those materials that snags. So right now I have like a nail that's kind of broken and I'm really scared it's gonna snag on the dress. So I'm gonna be really careful. Anyway, enjoying the morning this morning, having a nice, slow, slow morning, which I've been doing quite a lot on the weekends because obviously I'm not like rushing to leave the house or anything. This little guy is asleep on my new dress. <laughs> that is my new dress. And I was going to show them. Yeah. So, if you wouldn't mind, you have a whole bed to sleep on. Um, yeah, no. That's mine. I've had a couple of new things come in recently. Loads of actually really amazing things that I've been sharing on my Instagram. And I think... Right now, what I'm doing is I'm sharing things like that I'm buying be right before I buy them or amazing dupes or things that I think might sell out and then once they come then I can show them to you on. I do have one thing. Oh, I think we'll need to sit down for this. I did a little bit of a Farfetch order and there are so many amazing um, pre-loved pieces on Farfetch and I know that so many people question me and ask me about these earrings trying to find them in my little stash. These amazing Chanel handbag earrings. Now, I did see them recently on Farfetch and as soon as I linked to them, they sold out and someone bought them because they are vintage. So you're looking at pre-loved places to get them. They're so hard to get hold of. So anytime I do find things like that, I link to them on my Instagram. And there is a brooch on there that I've seen at the moment on Farfetch. So if you're someone that likes accessorizing your blazers and things like that, then I'll link it down below. But I do have a Farfetch order to show you. And the point of that random ramble about that little Chanel thing was to talk about some pre-loved pieces and why I love shopping pre-loved and shopping more sort of consciously and more sustainably. <laughs> sustainably. I do have something to show you that I wasn't planning on buying. But as I said with those earrings, when you see something and it's one of it because it's pre-loved or it's vintage, you kind of need to act fast. So that is what I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you some new in things in my wardrobe right now, including this thing that I wasn't really planning on buying. Ooh. So let me know what you think. Got a couple of boxes as well. Let's sit down and get into this without flashing you, ideally. <laughs> so I have a few things to show you first. What? Puppy. Mm -hmm. well, I'm also quite scared to be around him in this dress because his little nails. <laughs> but look at him, oh his little tummy. <laughs> anyway, okay, right. You need to not snore because everyone's gonna think I'm farting. So stop snoring, thank you, stop. So this part of the vlog is in collaboration with Farfetch who I shop with a lot, a lot, a lot. So some of the pieces I've shown you I've actually bought and I thought I'll put in this video anyway. Before I open this, I do have a 10% off code for Farfetch which is FFAL10 that does get you te off 10% and I'll leave the T's and C's down below. Um, there are a couple T's and C's so it's worth reading um, before going over but 
it's great and I know loads of you really love using that code. So this is from a brand that Farfetch stock. They stock so many amazing, amazing brands and such a variety and I think from what the things that I bought will show you what a variety of brands they stock. Anyway, this is a brand that I kind of promised when they first launched that I wouldn't buy anything from them again and that was maybe a few years ago now it's Algeri and you might have seen their jewelry around but I bought from them when they were only selling on their website and they were only selling made to order pieces and they were kind of doing everything really slowly so it took like two months for you to get your pieces and I didn't think the pieces were very well thought out that I had ordered I ordered a shell necklace and it was really heavy and the chain was really light. I was kind of a bit disheartened by the brand but over the past couple of years I've been tracking them a bit more and seeing their um, pieces kind of pop up more places so I thought I'd give them another go. So this is all their packaging and everything's kind of changed as well and on Farfetch you'll see there's like a positively conscious section so you can shop more conscious brands. So the necklace that I got was the Tales of the Sea necklace oh this is much better it's much lighter than my other one that I had but I feel like it's unfair to compare the two because that was multiple multiple years ago and their branding and everything has changed since then it's this link chain necklace it has a little girl at the bottom and she's kind of sitting on this rock almost as if she's by the sea and then it has a pearl attached to it I've been itching to wear this because I really wanted a kind of link chain necklace but a lot of the ones I find are really kind of manly and they kind of take over your whole body and <laughs> what I wear I wear a lot of more dainty pieces I wanted more of a dainty chain and I wanted, sorry, this is a normal class, but I'm struggling to do it up behind my back for some reason, because I was trying to do it with my wrong hand. Oh, come back. Um, and I wanted more of a daintier link chain, so still kind of following that link chain trend, but not as heavy, I guess. So that's what it looks like on. I think that's really gorgeous. I might take this necklace off so that I can just stack it below. I knew when I saw this on the website, if it was as described, then I would definitely be keeping it, and it is. Let me come a bit closer so you can see. How beautiful is that? Sorry, I just scratched myself there. <laughs> but it is so pretty and dainty and really unique, I think. I'm quite pleased about that because I don't really have anything like this in my collection. I'd recommend checking out Algeri. Um, if you want to go, I'll leave a link to them down below to their brand page. Ooh, I kind of like that I can fiddle with this as well. It's quite nice playing with your jewellery. <laughs> right, there's another thing, let me find it. Last year was the year for me where I discovered Reformation dresses. I kind of feel like a very deep connection to Reformation dresses because it was at a time when I felt really kind of crap about myself and I would put on these beautiful dresses that were relatively affordable for designer dresses and they just made me feel so girly and I love the prints, I found them really uplifting and I have a really soft spot for Reformation. Anyway, Reformation, their online store, is really low in stock a lot of the time, it's really annoying. Like one of their main things on their website is back in stock because their stock flies so fast. But the best thing about Farfetch is that they stock from different retailers all over the world. So if you're looking for something particular, I would really recommend Farfetch because it's not just one hub of stock. I was after this dress, it was my most worn dress of last year. It's the Christine dress and they have it in different patterns and I have it in red, I have it in green. It's my most worn dress and I wanted it in something a bit more day appropriate and something with a bit more of a floral pattern on it. So, this is my absolute favourite, favourite dress. I'm so happy I have it. If I could have it in 20 different colours and only wear this dress, I would happily do that because it's so flattering and so sweet. So I'll show it to you on in a sec. But this is the one that I bought from Reformation. This is also in their Positively Conscious section on Farfetch. I felt like the two colours I had of this dress were quite bright and quite vibrant. I have a bright green and bright red and I wanted something a bit more muted and something that I could still wear day or night so I'm really excited to wear this hopefully soon <laughs> and I think especially now when the hot weather is kind of coming out this is perfect just gonna turn on the light because I want to show you something in my bag cupboard I have a couple of bags that are actually being restored right now and that's been put on hold because their store has closed down however most of my bags in here let me just open this up and show you this is what my little bag cupboard looks like 
which I love so much. It makes me so happy. And there is a couple downstairs. There's my Fendi, which I'm using right now, which is here, and a pretty sack, which goes up here. But if you look back here, a lot of my bags are Chanel, and most of them, I would say, actually I would say around 50% of them, I bought pre-loved. So we have this one back here. I bought this pre-loved. That's a beautiful bag. It's really unique. And that was a gift that I bought myself. This I bought myself. I have a red one and a blue one. I'll put pictures of them on the screen. You'll definitely recognise them because I wear them. And a white one, which um, Estee got me, which are all being restored right now. And they were all vintage and pre-loved. Even the gift from Estee, was, that was a vintage one. So I think when you're looking at Chanel bags, if you are looking at a Chanel bag, my top tip would be to get them pre-loved. Actually, this one here is pre-loved as well that one that is a great one to get pre-loved and if you religiously track the pre-loved market like i do um you might have seen that recently the prices of the chanel pre-loved bags have gone down chanel actually removed the prices from their website recently the past couple of weeks i don't know if they're going to bring it back but they used to have some price upon request and some prices and they've removed that and i don't know if that's had an effect on it but the pre-loved chanel market is popping right now and some of the prices have actually been reduced and this was one i saw on farfetch which had been reduced i saw it I kind of um denied about it and one of my most worn Chanel's, vintage Chanel's, is my red one which I love because I wear a lot of neutral colours and that really works for me. And so if you are looking for a pre-loved Chanel, start looking now and start monitoring and tracking because you can go on Farfetch and what I do is I kind of tab all the new in places. So I tab new in Chanel, new in Dior. So there's like some Gucci, some Fendi, a really great mix of brands actually. And so as I do with my stalking, I did a lot of stalking and I saw this come in and I really didn't dilly dally. Um, with Chanel, you kind of see it and it goes and that's normally how it works. So I remember seeing a gorgeous little pink Chanel pre-loved bag on Farfetch and I thought, oh gosh, okay, and by the afternoon it had gone. So go and check out their pre-love section. If you like accessories, um, Chanel earrings, they have so many of those amazing, amazing ones. And I was really thinking about a Chanel brooch and then I thought about it too long and it went. <laughs> and it was a gorgeous brooch. So this is the bag that I got. This little vintage Chanel, I thought was one of the sweetest Chanel's I've ever seen it is so tiny and mini which i love i love mini bags and the quality is still amazing i mean all the little details are still there the leather the little detail on the chanel zip the little buttons in here are all chanel cc logos so this was just so so exciting and it is it does have the authentication card in there as well so inside looks like that it is kind of like a little tiny cute baby and i thought that this would be just so perfect for me in the summer i don't carry too much in my bags i love big bags but most of the time i'm carrying my wallet and i'm holding my phone and maybe my airpods that's about it a lip gloss some bronzer <laughs> i could go on couldn't i my wallet did i say that anyway i thought this would be a great size because it still fits a lot but i just thought it was so sweet and I rarely see ones like this come on and I just fell in love with it honestly I completely fell in love with it because I wear a lot of white and even with my reformation dress that I bought I think that would look really sweet together as well so I'll show it to you on with a couple of outfits and I'm really really excited about this so yeah like I said I do have a discount code for Farfetch I'll link everything I'm talking about down below and it is FFAL10 and um, that's valid for about a month now I think 30 days or so so I'll leave all the T's and C's down below and I have a few other things to show you new in my wardrobe but let me show you this bag and this dress and we're gonna have fun today I put my dress on what shoes should I wear to show you these to you properly maybe these I also bought these from Farfetch they're so beautiful little Manolos. Oh, I haven't put on this dress, this style, in so long and it just makes me feel amazing. There's something about the fit of them, the little bows. I'll leave my size down below. I can't remember what size I get. They do American sizing Reformation dresses, but I'll leave it in the information box. And I think this is the perfect 
mix of print for me. It's not too printy, but it's just, I can't go wrong with Reformation dresses, honestly. I love this dress so, so much. I can't tell you any more than that. Let me just go to my cupboard. I'll show you the red one and the green one because, I mean, they're even on the same hanger. That is so funny. Well done. Oh, there we go. Look, this is the little red one. You'll definitely recognize it now from last year. And that's the green. So you can see they're quite kind of vibrant colors, whereas this one's a bit more muted. Oh, oh, oh short girl problems. Okay. So in terms of loving a dress, this is really a 10 out of 10 dress for me. It's my absolute favorite style. I can't even tell you why, really. I just think everything about it makes me happy. It's the fit, the shape, the little scallop detail, the way it hugs my body, the bows. It's just a 10 out of 10 dress. They actually make me happy. I don't want to take it off. While I'm here, let's do jewelry of the day now. So we have these Tadron Toy hoop earrings, which are little rose gold with silver stars on them. I have my new Algeria necklace, my Gemini necklace, which is one of my favorites from a jewelry. Then I have a Dior ring and a APM Monica ring stacked on top of my Cartier, my Majuri over here. Yes, I am holding my brand new bag, which I'm going to just show you and see for myself what it looks like. Just paired with a white dress, I think, just for simplicity. This is actually a dress I just got from River Island. Um, I think it's a great dupe of a Zimmerman dress. So if it's still available, I'll put a link to it down below as well. But more importantly... Let's raise the arm. Oh, what do you guys think? I think I would wear it. Maybe I'm doing this with my wrong hand again. But I think I would wear it like this. Oh god, it's so weird using your wrong hand to do stuff. <laughs> I feel like it uses a different part of my brain. There we go. That's what it is. Oh wow, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. The model on the Farfetch website was wearing it more like this which I think really shows it off, shows off the little quilting and shows off the kind of shape of the bag as well. So I think that's a win. We're gonna do a cutting tag ceremony <laughs> together. Right, where are my scissors? Scissors, scissors, scissors. Ah, here we go. Oh my God, this is so messy in here. I need to sort that out. This is what I want. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, goodbye. I'm very happy with my little haul actually. I think that's great great going and I have a couple of oh I just pulled out my earring that was not a good good shout I have a couple of other things that have actually arrived and um, which I need to open but first things first I think it's time to make lunch I'm absolutely starving why as a vlogger you need to know how to do things with one hand putting in an earring it's just never gonna happen is it Okay. It's lunch time. Right. I got a bit creative today. I just was in one of those moods where I was like, you know what, I'll give this a proper go. I was on a phone call and I was just filming an outfits video, so I put on this hoodie, um, which I love. I actually did, you know what, I said to you that I wanted to get it, didn't I, in a couple of vlogs ago. Um, anyway, I've made a really creative lunch, which I'm quite excited about. So, I have some sushi rice. That's over here. I'm not actually going to use this for sushi. I'm using it to make like a little bed of sushi rice because it's quite sticky. Um, I'm not making using it for sushi, I'm just boiling it right now. So I'm quite excited for that because it's quite like a sticky, yummy texture. I kind of felt like that texture. Then, are you ready for this? Then, I put in the oven some salmon and I put with it some soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, honey and um, white miso. So that's gonna taste really good. And I'm doing it with cashews. I'm gonna like crumble my cashews. First I'm roasting them in the oven. I'm gonna crumble them and then put them over the top. And then I'm gonna do, oh my God, hold on. This is overflowing, this is too hot. Then I'm gonna do some grilled broccoli as well. I'm just gonna wash these little guys um, and put it on, on a little bed of grilled broccoli. So I, d I do feel like a bit of a chef. I'm quite proud of myself right now. But let's see how this turns out. I don't wanna jinx it, you know, terrible. Oh, mm. Mm. I love sushi rice, it's like kind of sticky, it's a weird weird texture, but I love it. We have got in here my cashews, my salmon and my veg. Alright, this is what we gonna do. 
First I put my cashews in here and I'm going to crush them. Not sure how. Now, I did make some of this rice for sushi. So I'm gonna take some of it and put it on here as a nice little base. Then I'm gonna put my salmon on top. Oh wow, it's so beautiful. Then I'm just gonna spoon some of this. And this is my lunch today. I'm so happy with this. I feel like I whipped that up really quickly. So easy to do. And I bet it's gonna taste so good, I'm so excited. I have to say, this is one of the best meals I've ever made in my life. Good morning from my office. It's Monday morning, I'm just doing emails. And I say emails, I say emails I'm browsing at my desk and I'm having a no makeup morning, although I did do my hair and put on jewelry and stuff. Um, but then I thought I'll do all my desk stuff first put on my makeup and I have the windows open and I can hear the birds chirping outside and it's a beautiful, beautiful day. This week officially marks Leo week. He's coming this weekend. If you don't know, I'm getting, well, technically he's my mum's, but I've done this very clever thing. I would highly recommend it if you want a puppy of convincing someone else to get the puppy and then kidnapping him, <laughs> which is what I'm gonna do. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, he's uh, coming this weekend. Tiny, tiny little squishy Leo. I can't cope. I'm so excited. I asked on Instagram yesterday for all your tips on how to introduce dogs to each other. So if you did share on there, thank you so much because it's been really helpful. Because um, I really want Duke and Leo to be friends. And Duke doesn't really like puppies, to be honest. He's not actually that puppy friendly at all. He'll see a puppy on the street and be like, grrr. <laughs> so... I've got lots of tips, so hopefully with all your tips I'm going to be best friends. I hope. Anyway, I have a few emails and things to reply to, and I'm going to make sure I try and stay off browsing new in Monday mornings. I did my makeup. <laughs> it took me quite a while today because Pia and I were chatting on um, the phone. We have a nice little Monday morning FaceTime this morning. Um, while I did my makeup, I do still have a code um, for Rodial for 25% off everything, which is Rodial Amelia. So let me actually put you down here and I can talk to you about what I've used. I have a couple of delays in this room right now, which is a bit sad. Like, obviously with everything going on, there are a few delays. So I was gonna have everything done by June. So now everything's a bit delayed, probably won't be. So I've kind of just like moved my table into the middle of the room, because why not? <laughs> Can't really describe it to you. By the way, I sent my sister the video of this necklace and I was like, what do you think? And she was like, it's amazing. I was like, I know. When something's Hannah approved, I'm like. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk to you about some um, favorites on my face because I have a few things like this Becca Ignite highlighter. I mentioned this um, in my vlog a couple of days ago as well, but just look at my cheek, cheeks, and my skin, they look so good and it smells very like coconutty and yummy and it sort of sits on your face quite nicely. Fenty are doing these new cream bronzers. I mean, mine's really well loved already and it looks so natural on the skin. I normally have like quite an intense bronzer, you guys will know, but this is so, so natural that it's great. Then, what else did I put on my face? It's fabulous. I put on also these Rodial Collagen Drops. Um, it's like a skincare product, obviously. They're super, super light, like really, really light, but they just give your skin an added boost. It's like a restoration product, really. It kind of aims to restore the skin and make it look all smooth and fresh. Did my banana low lighter, but I think that is sold out from Rodial. And that's all the kind of things that I want to shout about really. I think this week what I'm going to do on my Instagram, I had a big like Instagram moment last night and I always ask for your feedback. I love your feedback so much. Like it really sort of helps me and helps me kind of focus my energy in the right places, I guess, of what you want to see. And it really is like a little community um, that I built on my Instagram, which I love so much. And I feel the same about YouTube as well. Like 
the days that my video goes up I'm so much happier because I get to interact with you more just because when I post a video obviously people comment more and more and stuff sorry my nose is running for some reason I think it's hay fever and my windows all my windows open anyway what I'm going to do on my Instagram this week is post a makeup video and an outfit video every day. N not even like planned, I think just what I'm wearing. Like today I haven't really got changed, I'm in this like tank top. Even if I'm just in my pyjamas for most of the day on the weekend, I'll just post that. So I don't really want to plan my outfits to kind of post them. I want to post what I'm wearing that day. Um, and because we're all staying home, like some days I love wearing a dress that like probably wouldn't be appropriate to go outside. It might be like not warm enough or something, but because I'm at home, I can wear it and share that with you on my Instagram. And then I think at the end of the week, maybe I'll give away um, to three people a voucher for the outfit that did really well or something like that. I'll definitely do like a kind of secret giveaway. So stay tuned for that on my Instagram. Um, I think I'll do that just to kind of pep up everyone's spirits and get us excited to leave the house again and dress up and look nice. My sister and I this weekend um, in the past week we've kind of been like motivating each other to like get dressed so every day we'll send each other a picture of our outfits and that's been really motivating and it's quite nice to wear pieces in your wardrobe that like aren't getting that much love right now. Oh I forgot to tell you something else it looks like um, apparently Chanel are going to be raising their prices by 20% so now more than ever is a great time to be supporting the pre-loved market and that hasn't been confirmed but like I said Chanel has I don't think it's been confirmed um, but Chanel has taken their price off their website um, and I have been reading and seeing videos that they are raising their prices um, to kind of recoup losses apparently so yeah now more than ever is the time to shop pre-loved so um, I'm very very happy after seeing that there I got my pre-loved bag so anyway this week is Leo week I will be posting about that on Sunday um, I think we're gonna go get him either Friday or Saturday maybe Saturday so I will see you then and I'm so excited and um, yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you soon Mwah. bye